after reviewing Emirates' amazing first class and having a shower above the clouds, as well as trying their business class including the 380 bar experience, it was time to finally put its economy class to a very comprehensive test. So in here I was, in Thailand's beautiful capital Bangkok, ready for my 7 hour flight to Dubai. So guys, welcome to another flight report. Right now I'm in Bangkok and I'll be flying Emirates in economy class on a 380 on a six hour flight to Dubai. So it gives us a great opportunity to see how good Emirates really is in economy class. And then I'm gonna continue from Dubai to Frankfurt in uh, business class. So that's why you should subscribe to not miss out on this review as well. So let's go and board the 380. So guys, today's video is once again sponsored by Surfshark VPN. And in times of coronavirus and a global pandemic, it's very important to keep yourself entertained, especially if you're self-quarantined um, as me. Thanks to Surfshark VPN, I am able to change my IP address to the United States here from Indonesia in order to access my Netflix content. Um, Right now, I'm watching all documentaries again. I'm a history buff, uh, so it really keeps me sane in times like this. But also, a VPN helps you to stay safe whenever you surf the internet. Uh, so all your data, whatever you do on the internet, is protected. And that is something uh, very important, especially during times like this. So if you want to get, uh, if you want to take advantage of Surfshark VPN as well and be able to access literally any country in the world uh, with an e uh, IP you receive from a Surfshark VPN server, you should check out the link in the description box below. Um, you will get 83% off plus one month for free. It's a really good offer and I've tried a couple of VPNs uh, in my lifetime, especially when I lived in China, and Surfshark VPN is by far the best with a brilliant customer service. So go check out the link, take advantage of the discount you can get, especially in times like this, and stay safe and stay sane especially, and enjoy your Surfshark VPN. All right, now we're gonna go back on the flight and enjoy the Airbus A380. So welcome aboard the Emirates A380 economy class experience with 427 seats in a 343 configuration spread over the main deck, 76 business class seats and 14 first class seats as well as the bar are located on the upper deck, just if you're wondering. And just to be clear, economy class passengers are not, I repeat, are not allowed to visit the bar. I mean, you can try to sneak in, but just 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 don't the seat comes with personal entertainment a USB slot portable table a cup holder quite cool blanket and headphones as well as a remote control with its very own screen the odd thing about the window seat is the missing power outlet which didn't bother me too much since I barely used them but if you really require one you either have to pick the aisle seat or the middle seat which is up to you views from hundreds of movies from Hollywood, Bollywood and beyond, as well as all the best TV shows and box sets. Hands down, Emirates features the world's best in-flight entertainment, without a doubt, with thousands of movies and shows from all around the world. Emirates also offers Wi-Fi on its flight and free access to your messenger service. However, I don't recommend to purchase any of the internet packages due to the terrible internet speed I've experienced on all of my Emirates flights.
So guys, we are like three hours into the flight. I wanted to give you a proper seat intro, but um, I had people sitting next to me and I didn't want to like bother them with um, talking into the camera and make it uncomfortable for everyone. Um, but so far, the flight was good. After an hour, we had the meal and this is the, the laboratory and this is what I like about the 380. It is a really, really um, passenger friendly airplane. It's very spacious um, and uh, it's really sad to actually uh, see it go, but uh, this is the, the, the laboratory, what, what it looks like. I um, have a bit of a uh, few amenities here and some sanitary napkins, uh, facial tissues. Um, unfortunately, there are no toothbrushes, which I really liked about Singapore Airlines. And in regards of the crew and talking about a good economy class product, and I think a lot of people have mis misunderstood me um, no, with Singapore Airlines economy class. But what I like here about Emirates is that um, the crew is in fact very engaging and they identify those passengers who do want to engage. I feel really tired today, I'm not like this, but like, um, it's not like that one crew uh, who is in charge of 40 passengers needs to talk to everyone. Nobody expects that and it's complete nonsense. Out of, out of those 40, um, 35 want to watch a movie and uh, another two you just want to sleep and then there's probably three or four they like to just have a quick chat and what I like also about the crew they ask you how was your meal and um, where are you going I think this is pretty cool this is and this is just a little tiny thing I was wondering especially when you pay, uh, pay a premium on top of um, the flight and uh, this is all I meant. And also, I see every 10 to 15 minutes, there's a crew slowly walking through the aisle and being alert and serving to the need of the passenger. If there's somebody, like she's that beacon, you know, and uh, if you have something, you can uh, inquire or something. And this is just what, for, in my opinion, is a good economy class uh, product, just to make this clear. I don't want any special service in economy class, but I believe that a lot of crew, they became crew because they love engaging with passengers and they love the human interaction on their flights. Um, if not, then I, with all due respect, then I think you might be in the wrong uh, industry or on the wrong job. But this is, this is all I am asking for, especially from an airline which says they are the very, very best um, in the world and they say they have the best cabin crew. So, of course, you're there for the safety. We all understand this. But I do believe that uh, there is a bit of extra attention and, and analyze who is the one uh, who doesn't mind to chat. And then you come to the galley and somebody wants to say hello, what's wrong with it, you know? I understand every flight is different and they can be quite busy, but generally that's what I meant from an airline where you pay a premium and where you price yourself so hard I was expecting a little more and on today's flight with Emirates you know they have their flaws as well but this is this is a lovely lovely um, economy class product see I'm already talking too much uh, and I really need to pay and I'm gonna go back and uh, then I land in Dubai and then I continue to Frankfurt in business class very excited about that one if there is something Emirates pays very little or no attention to, it's definitely the food experience. Most of the time it's bland, it's boring and dry as a fart. But that literally applies to all three classes and this is perhaps something I'd love to see improve. What are your thoughts on Emirates food? Let me know in the comment section below because I really want to know. today with uh, Emirates and I uh, hope to welcome you on board of our aircraft again soon. Have a nice stay in Dubai or a safe onward journey. Thank you very much and good day. So what is my final summary on Emirates economy class? Well, it is definitely one of the best in the world given the fantastic in-flight entertainment, the lovely crew and the great seat. You definitely won't get bored on an Emirates flight. Things that I'd love to see improve is definitely the food experience and the unreliable internet connection. Also, 
Emirates is the least innovative major airline when it comes to the economy class cabin, because literally the product hasn't changed in years. Overall, your money is well spent though on Emirates, and the transit experience at the Dubai International Airport is always very enjoyable. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of Emirates. Leave me a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and please, why don't you check out my Patreon page. Bye.